So in this video, we'll see how to migrate a Next.js 13 project to a Next.js 14 project. The Next.js 13 version, I'm here, currently I have a Next.js 13 project up and running in front of you. So here I have used Pages Router. As you can see, here I have the Pages folder inside the SRC. And inside Pages, I have index.tsx. Now here you can see I am using Get Server Side Prompt for fetching some data from an API. Once I have the data, I'm passing this data to the page as props. Now if I scroll above, you can see this users list is being accepted as a param here on the home component and it's being passed to a user list component. If you go inside the user list, you can see the users array is being iterated and items are being populated here based on each user data. I'll just show you, I'll just run this project and show you how it looks. Okay, so once the project is up and running, you can go to local 3000 and you should be able to see the project up and running. You can see, you can see a list of users here, which is being shown as a list. You click on this thing, it throws a confirmation dialog. That's it. So this is a simple thing that we'll try to migrate to a Next.js 14 project using App Router. So let's go back to the project. To migrate it, I'll just stop the project. I'll go to SRC. Inside SRC, I'll create a folder called App folder. Inside App, I'll create something called Layout. Now this will be the root layout of, uh, of the project. I'll just simply go to Next.js. I'll just go to Layouts and Template. Inside, you can see this is how your root layout looks, looks like. So I'll just copy the root layout from here. I'll paste it here. Something called a page.tsx. Inside page.tsx, we'll be having something called define the page, like uh, home page, which will be equal to let's return let's do hello for the time being. Let's see if it's working. So I'll just run the application. the browser and load the application 2000 where it says conflicting app page file was found please remove conflicting files you see uh, in the pages router and in the app router we have the same stuff here right so inside pages we have index.tsx inside app we have page.tsx so we can't really have conflicting files this way so what I'll do is I'll just create a folder inside app let's say home and I'll move these two things inside home Once these are inside, I'll just load the application by going to flash home, flash home. So you see, the default export is not okay. I'll just export this thing, export default home page. Now, if you load the application, you should be able to see hello. So, similarly, we can migrate the rest of the code so i'll just go to my pages from here go to index.ts i'll just copy this whole thing this whole html right and i'll move to my page.tsx here paste it here some references are missing so i'll just do one thing i'll go to my index file i'll copy the references to copy go to page okay i'll just copy the fonts to go to my page okay so that also gets resolved now we have users now this data needs to come from an api call right so inside page we can make a p call right here so i'll just go to my index.ts and copy this thing from here go to page and paste it here we name this to a sync so that gets resolved right i'll just try to run this thing and let's see if it's working with the app router save all 
Maybe it cannot resolve the fonts. Maybe the path is different. So from page, we have slash dot dot slash pages slash font right. Okay, now there's one more error. Event handler cannot be passed to client component prop. So this thing is a server component, right? Since we are making API call and all here. It's a server component. So inside we are using a user list and inside user list we are using something called item which is a client component. Since it has something called on click events now. So what we need to do is we need to move this thing out right i'll just cut this thing it looks like the imports are also required so i'll just copy it again okay we just cut this thing and i'll create inside users i'll create a file called user.tsx so dot tsx inside i'll just paste this whole thing And yeah, we can import and we'll just export this thing, export default item, and inside user.tsx, this can be imported from slash users. And one more thing, we just need to make this as a client component since we are using on click events and all so i'll just type in use client now if you see we have saved all it's compiling fine i'll just go to my application here by fetch slash home you should see that the data is getting loaded fine right right and here also the data is working fine click also you can see the events are also getting fired and there is no error this is how you migrate your page router to an app router so a couple of things that i would like to point out here so inside the inside the pages router we had get server side prompts when we were making the api calls to get the data from the api and we were passing this data to our page now inside app router what's happening is we have something called page and the layout so inside uh inside our component so we have two type two type of components here one 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 is a server component so if we haven't mentioned anything on the top it's a server component by default if it's a client one you need to specify it you need to mention it specifically so if i scroll down here you can see inside the page layout which is a server component we are making this api call and we are getting the data and then we are passing the data to a user list component which also is a server component but inside this list we are using something called item which is a client component why it's a client component because client components because it's using now why it needs to be a client component is because it's using an on click event which only a client component can have server component can't have that's the reason so i hope you find this video useful do let me know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching